Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. We're gonna do an AMC general forecast, see what's going on right now with AMC in general, not using any other cards besides the Golden Universal Tarot deck. Let's see what's going on. Well, we have the Queen of Wands here. We also have, ooh, work hard at work and it's not working as hard. It's not going up as much. Um, things are stagnant. Sagittarius season, well, we have that in reverse. So I feel like right now things are moving against AMC. Um, you guys know I got an AMC early um, and, you know, I made a little profit. So a lot of what I'm saying now, I sold most of mine. Actually, I sold all of it because of just where the economy is right now. And I'm not planning to reinvest in AMC at all personally, so just a disclaimer, but um, I am a fan of AMC and I have the AMC A-list, A-lister member club and I go to the AMC theater almost every week solo, if I so choose, sometimes with family member or friend, and I see movies there. So huge, massive supporter of AMC. I just don't think the stock's gonna go anywhere. We also have the Three of Swords here, which is telling us like, a disruption is coming of some sort, but we have at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles. So it does feel like people who are banking on AMC to do what it did again, it's not coming. And it feels like it probably won't do much anytime soon. General forecast, when my AMC recover? I'm thinking AMC probably recovers, if anything, earliest end of year when Avatar 2 comes out, but I wouldn't bank on it. I feel more 2023 to 2024. A lot of these sorts of stocks are, you know, um, at this point, too risky. It was fun while it lasted. Um, some people made a killing, some people did decently well, but ultimately, um, I feel like a lot of people, um, yeah, a lot of people who know how to play this, they know to get out, um, when the time is right, they've already taken the opportunity. You know, there's a very low chance that it's going to do what it did, um, last year anytime soon so if you are banking on that happening i'm not seeing anything significant like i said there might be some spurts but i don't necessarily see it going any higher um anytime really soon and i mean anytime higher than the all-time high so perhaps it goes back to 30 or something uh but 30 40 but that's kind of the average that's the general average um i don't feel like it has too much going on in the foreseeable future. We can definitely check in again, though, in the coming months, if you guys want. So that's AMC for you guys. Let's do a reading for XRP. All right, what's going on for XRP? Oh gosh, I'm not even letting me shuffle. Um, still blockage. That's what's happening. There's just, there's blockage. It's not really, okay, I am seeing January and February. There could be some progress. It feels still stuck. I don't feel like it's going to move. I, I've, I've told a lot of people 2022 feels like there's nothing that's going to happen. It could take until 2023 for us to see any sort of progress. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Four of, of Cups. Not good cards, you guys. For XRP, I also would not bank on this energy in the coming months. This is a general forecast reading, sort of timeless thing. Uh, you know, we have the Star card, which is good. January and February, but I feel like that's many months away. So you're getting overly excited about something happening. Um, for XRP, eh, again, be, be thoughtful, be patient with like 
with the situation. Seeker, seeking for opportunities. People are looking desperately for the knowledge of like what the SEC is choosing for XRP because they know that a lot of what's happening right now, um, you know, X XRP is, is less than a dollar and it, you know, not every coin is going to make it. There are going to be a lot of coins that pump up that are like super random that maybe are going to do better than XRP. And so there are a lot of people who are banking on XRP, who are banking on, you know, all of these coins that, again, are a gamble. Look, that's the, that's the card that came out, a gamble. And, you know, I, some of them do have good luck here. We do have good luck at the bottom of the deck, but I feel like, you know, what I, what the guys are showing me is don't overdo it. Don't be overly obsessive with crypto coins. Again, so many people are going to lose a lot of money because they're so obsessed with the idea that they're right and everybody else is wrong. And they don't even know what the coin is that they're putting their money in. They don't understand it. They don't understand the fundamentals. They don't understand why it's not going anywhere. So there are all these little bits and pieces that you definitely have to watch out for. Now, okay. Yeah, we have the Four of Swords here and the Death card. So I would definitely just say like, based upon what the guides are showing me, this feels very currently, and I'm gonna say currently, this could change in the future, feels dead in the water. I mean, you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, you guys know I'm very much all about like, don't put more than a steak dinner in any of these. So, you know, watch yourself. So that's XRP. <sighs> Thanks for joining. If that was what you're looking to get more clarity. We're gonna do Matic. All right, I am feeling good energy for Matic. This is what came out. Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. Matic definitely has a future. The death, the end of a cycle occurred for Matic, but a new beginning is starting very soon for Matic. There's certainty here. Um, I think that Matic will definitely have some profitable opportunities and options. So if you know if you're a fan awesome i think that uh there's a chance there's a chance that it could do something in the next in the coming months all right we have healing we have perception we have direction a lot of people are putting out a lot of you know their predictions and why they think something is going to happen and it doesn't happen and everybody's all you know salty about it when in fact the whole the whole thing was you know was kind of obvious the whole time i'm not going to call out individual youtubers but and this goes for the big ones this goes for the big dogs the top fives okay a lot of people predicting, saying things are going to pump, and they don't, and you guys know why. You guys already know why. They're sticking to one way of how they interpret things um, in the markets. They're not looking at the other side of things. The why in regards to psychologically why people are choosing to hold off on investing more. They're not looking in, they're looking into the why in regards to what the finance bros say. They're not looking into the astrological side of things. They're not looking into the energy, the energetic forecast of things. But if you can do both, which most can't because they're too close minded, because that's usually the nature of the male species ultimately, like it's more difficult for men to be emotional, right? In any relationship, nobody can sit here and say that they're you know, not everybody, like I would say most guys in general, you know, they struggle to have that emotional barrier um, to, to be able to surpass the like egotistical part of things, which again is why so much of this world is, is struggling. But um, 
And this is why crypto is struggling too, because there it's very male dominated. And uh, it's, you know, it's something where there's, there's not enough progress, generally speaking, they haven't gotten everybody on board, right? All the CEOs that we hear about, all the top YouTuber crypto people, all of these people are all, they all look the same, they all talk the same, they all act the same. There's no variation, which means that there's not a lot, there's not enough um, diversity in the space yet. But I feel like with Matic, I feel like Matic could really do well in this coming months because we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I am sold that Matic is gonna go far in the coming months. We're not putting a time limit on specifically when that could be though, because this is more of a, a general forecast, timeless reading uh, for, you know, an update. I don't know, an update for, for some of these. So we had AMC, XRP, Matic, and what else? Um, I think that's going to be it, but we have Omen here. I think a lot of people are in over them, their heads um, currently. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but um, people are just, they are assuming that, you know, things are going to continue as is, and they don't have an eye for reading the market, there's also um, desperation. Desperation to make money before it's too late. So people are doing everything they can. They're selling their kidneys, they're selling their cars <laughs> to get some cash so they can put it into the crypto market. And when all these regulations kick in, a lot of people are gonna be mad. And generally speaking, I mean, um, you guys know my thought process. In conclusion, you know, whoever is destined to be a crypto gainer, a crypto profiteer, um, that's even a word, um, will. And those who are not, who might be in the future struggling, are people that most likely got, they were being greedy. They were being greedy, they were doing too much. And usually doing too much and being greedy means they held on to a, a coin too long because they were anticipating that it would double or triple from what the all-time highs of it were, and they didn't get out when they should have, and then it went to zero, or, or they got into the wrong coins. They were anticipating that this coin would make them a millionaire, and it never did. They're not sticking to the fundamentals, and they're not sticking to what the collective is allowing. We have already talked about what the collective... Um, or what the establishment is allowing the collective to accept, okay? We've already talked about that. So if you like my channel, if you're interested in more readings, go down a rabbit hole and watch some of them you might enjoy. Um, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way, and I will see you in another video. Bye!